Amen. Uh, I would like praise and worship to lead us in a praise song to welcome the preacher. Hallelujah. Where is my team again? Come back. We sing a praise song to welcome the preacher. opportunity to enlighten people about God's word. Um, so our theme today is children as ministers of God and we should listen to them. And as we read in the book of 1 Samuel, there was a boy called Samuel. Um, Samuel was the son of Elkanah and Hannah. Um, before Elkanah had a child, she was barren, she couldn't bear one. So she, she prayed to God day and night, asking him, asking him for a child, because Penina would brag that she had a lot of children and Hannah had, never had one. But God granted um, Hannah's wish, and Hannah 
dedicated somewhere to God. And also we have another priest, a priest called Eli. Eli was a priest who guided Samuel in the temple. Um, and as we read in the also in, we also read in the book of First Samuel that yeah we read that the Lord called Samuel. The Lord called Samuel at that time. He got up, went to Eli, and said, "You called me, and here I am." Now. Um, God was calling Samuel, but Samuel always thought it was Eli. So at night, God is calling Samuel. Samuel is going to Eli, and Eli is saying, I am not calling you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel went to Eli three times. But then the fourth time, Eli was like, it must be God who is calling this child. So Eli went, Eli told him, if, if, if you are called again, say, I am, your servant is listening, speak. So Samuel was an, a very obedient boy and he also did it. He went and said the exact words Eli had told him and God told him the message. Um, the message was that. The message was that Eli had some who were very corrupt and God wanted to punish everybody in Eli's, in Eli's family because of their wrong thing. Um, in the morning when Eli woke up and Samuel woke up, Eli asked him, what did, the, what did God tell you? Samuel was afraid to tell Eli because he thought Eli would have died of a, or, or, since he was old and that shock people get when they hear bad news. But Eli never got shocked. He just said, it is God's will and it should be done. Yes. Um, that is how Samuel ministered when he was still a small boy. He ministered to God and his, to, he ministered to God and God used Samuel as a vessel to enlighten Israelites and to tell other people because as we read in verse 1, in those days when the boy Samuel was serving the Lord under the direction of Adib, there were very few messages from the Lord and visions from him were almost blind, almost blind. Uh -huh. um, I have a question for you guys. Um, if your child wakes up at night and then he or she asks you, did you call me and yet you didn't call them, what would you guys do? Um, some of you might have to sent them really and yet you are not the one who called them. Uh, yes. And there's also um, another, another reading in the Bible that talks about how God used um, kings of Israel to minister his work. And so there were those King Josiah who ministered at a very young age. He was about eight years old when he started serving the Lord. He served the Lord um, and always followed his commands. Um, it's in the book of Second Kings. Yes. King Josiah. King Josiah um, was eight years old when he became king of Judah. And he ruled in Jerusalem for 31, for 31 years. His mother was Jedida, the daughter of Adiah from the town of Boscat. So King Josiah was, uh, was ministering and was also a king when he was eight years old. And that's 
very young. So he was one of the youngest kings of Israel. And then I have, and there's another king called Manasseh, Manasseh of Judah also. He was 12 years old when he became king of Judah and he ruled Jerusalem for 31, for 55 years. He followed the disgusting practices of the nations who the Lord has driven out. So these are two kings. Both of them are kings at very small ages, but as you can see, they are very different. Josiah served the Lord, Manasseh, in the other hand, didn't. So I think Josiah, he served the Lord well because he was guided in the right path, while as Manasseh, his father was a good king, but he never served the Lord the way his father had served. Um, the, um, in the Bible, God really loved children and used children as a sign of humbleness. Um, even in, if we read Matthew 21, we will see that when the big people were trading and then God just came and overturned the tables, they weren't afraid. They, they started praising him because they knew he was the son of God. And God uses children to show humbleness to the to the big people. Another yes. And as I was talking about Eli, Eli was a priest. He Eli, Eli loved his children very much. He never, you see the way parents love their children too much. When they do wrong, they, he, he or she doesn't correct them. So that is what Eli did to his sons. And his sons were, had started growing up with this behavior that if they do this thing wrong, nothing will tell them anything. If they do this thing wrong, so they started growing up with that behavior and when they became big, they became liars, corrupt men, they became, they did everything opposite that their father had done. They used to see someone offering the sacrifice, they tell that person, go home, your sacrifice has been forgiven by God and yet they didn't know anything. So they used to eat that sacrifice that that man had that the man or woman had come and had given the Lord. And so God do doesn't like corrupt men. He punished them. They were killed in war when the Philistines were coming in Israel. Um, and also as Manasseh and Josiah, they were kings. Each of them ruled differently. And even if we read in Psalms chapter 127, verse 3, it says, Children are a gift from the Lord. They are, they are a real blessing. The Psalms, a man has when he is young, 
are like arrows in a soldier's hand. Yeah, so let's focus on verse 3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a real blessing. That's why Hannah really wanted a child because she, she, she knew that children were blessings and she really wanted to hold a child. And so God granted her her wish. And even in Samuel chapter um, 18, it says, In the meantime, the boy Samuel continued to serve the Lord, wearing a sacred linen apron. Each year, his mother would make a little robe and take it to him. That's because Hannah had given birth to Samuel and dedicated Samuel to God. It doesn't mean that she just leaves him, um, the priest will take care of him. Every year when Elkanah, since Elkanah was a priest, she used to take um, a robe to Samuel to wear it when he was doing his priestly duties. And Samuel grew up loving God, honoring God, being with God, and staying with God. Um, as I finish, um, we have seen that you parents should be correcting your children when they do wrong to avoid God's punishment, just like Eli. Uh, don't be like Eli, who treasured that his children too much. Not, I'm not saying you should not treasure your children. I'm just saying, as you treasure them, also teach them that there is good, there is harm in, there is harm in being cruel and unjust, and there is good in being faithful to the Lord. The way Eli was punished because he did not warn his children about when they were doing wrong. Yeah. Um, thank you, and may the Lord be with you and bless you.